So there's been a lot of hints dropped here and there that Hillary Clinton is considering another run for president. A uh, number of articles on it. Uh, she's been reappearing and doing events now. And you, it seems like she's dipping her toe in the water, trying to get a sense of where am I at here? Because look, nobody's on the horizon. Biden's half dead. Kamala's terrible. Pete's terrible. They poll and Kamala was 28%. Pete's like the mid 30 something percent. I think it was 38 last time I checked. Biden did get a bump since the State of the Union. He went up to 47%, at least in one poll. But, you know, she's probably looking around like, hmm. Well, she was asked directly on MSNBC, are you, you know, are you considering running again? Here's her answer. Are you open to running for president again? <laughs> oh, no. come on. Just no. long run no, but I'm, <laughs> Well, no, but I am certainly going to be active in supporting women running for office um, and other uh, candidates uh, who I think should be reelected or elected, both women and men. All right, so there you go. She sort of laughed it off and said no. And she pretty said it, I think she said it a number of times there. Um, I, I think I believe her. I think I believe her. You know, Crystal's theory on this all along, when the article started coming out and stuff, her theory on it all along was, the, the, like, Republicans want it to be her so they're sort of doing the, the Pied Piper theory in reverse. Remember when they did the Pied... Hillary did the Pied Piper theory because she wanted to run against Trump because she thought I'd definitely be Trump. We'll have that work out. It didn't work out at all. But I think she thinks the Republicans were doing the Pied Piper theory, the, the reverse of that, where it's like they try to puff up Hillary and make her the one because they think she's the most beatable. That was her theory, that the chatter is all manufactured. My theory was more, I think that her team is dropping hints and so that's why people are writing the articles. And the other thing is, She's been doing like events and shit. And I think the reason you get back out there and be this visible is if you have some plans. So, but based off her reaction here, I don't know. My interpretation of it is I, I actually believe her, but there's another reason why I'm talking about this because Hillary's also a brazen liar. So if she does actually run either in this election or the next election, well, then you know that she was just lying. <laughs> she was just completely lying to everybody here because she does sound pretty convincing. She's like, no, no, I'm not going to run again. So anyway, at least for now, good news. Take it for what it is. Take it at face value. But I'm curious what everybody else thinks about this, what your interpretation of it is. What's your interpretation of the articles that were run uh, talking about her and trying to push her out there? The fact that she's been doing events, the fact that she's been doing more interviews. Um, do you think she's at least flirting with it? I mean, that's a possibility that she, she's sort of on the fence. Or she's leaning in the no direction, but still just dipping her toe in the water and testing it out. Either way, this is just horse race speculation, so it's largely a waste of time. But based off the way she said it, I sort of think she's not going to run again. But we'll see. If she does, then this was just yet another of the 14,214 14, Hillary lies. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.